Yeah, so this morning I was uh, went out to breakfast over here at McDonald's and um, I had my uh, egg McMuffin and uh, medium coffee like this, you know, with three creams inside. And uh, of course, it's talking with uh, Bill over here. And uh, so we were talking about the grieving process and about religion. Uh, hey, Bill. And um, the thing is, is that Bill says he's not very religious, but he doesn't commit to being uh, anything, an atheist, an agnostic, or whatever. But his position is, is that religion has helped lots of people and uh, that they kind of need it. And so what I was saying is, well, I think that we treat people like children and we, you know, with religion. And as a result, uh, it's like a crutch that they need. And if we were to educate them that, okay, life is the way it is, um, that um, basically they would be stronger and better able to handle things and they wouldn't need this. And, you know, I, I thought about it and I said, well, with just argumentation, uh, there's really no way to prove uh, one way or the other. You you really need uh, to do some experiments to tell the difference. Um, but I mean, my my feeling, my, my my whole idea was that yeah, you know, uh, tell, telling people, hey, this is you know, let's get away with the fairy tale stuff with God and all, and just treat people like adults. Um, but um, the thing is. I was thinking about it, and you know, when my best friend died, um, uh, Steve, uh, I was an atheist, and I loved him dearly, and it was very sudden and unexpected, and um, the the truth is, is that uh, it really uh, affected me. Uh, I was devastated. Now, I was still able to function, but uh, I was uh, just devastated, and I, I had the experience that somehow Steve was still there, still existed somewhere uh, out in the the void. And that happened uh, to me, and it lasted for a while. And even though as an atheist, you know, I, I kind of had that feeling. And um, when my mom died, um, I was able to function and all, you know, but it was also very, very difficult. And, um, well, I guess with... You know, my dad and all, I mean, I was wondering, does it really have anything to do with my atheistic beliefs and all? Or is it just that I've been through it and I'm more mature now, more solid, I guess. And I also kind of like reinforced the idea that, yeah, you know, he's going to die and you better get used to it. Deal with it before it happens. Uh, grieve before it happens and it'll be easier later. And I, I really don't know. Um, I mean, you can develop a philosophy about stuff and say, okay, this is, you know, uh, this is kind of how I look at stuff. And, uh, and, and, and you, can, you can make that argument. I mean, I also think about people that are in denial, you know, folks that are crippled. Uh, I brought this up in some other uh, videos, like uh, FDR, you know, he believed that he wasn't uh, really paralyzed. I mean, he really believed it. And believed that he would walk again, Christopher Reeves and stuff, and and that's kind of fairy tale stuff. Um, and maybe the answer is is that people need both. And uh, but uh, I just kind of feel that. Um, and I mean, I, I guess it could be all wrong. There's no way to really prove it unless you go out there and study it. But I guess I just feel that it would be better if we treated people like adults, even. You know, when kids can understand things at an appropriate level, explain it to them. Don't make up bullshit stories. But um, Bill seems to think that for some people, that's a good thing. And he's not one of them. I, I know that. He's no bullshit. And I, I, I suspect he's really an atheist and doesn't want to come out directly and say it. Um, but, um, yeah, so anyway... What do you guys think?